How much space junk is actually up there, Dr. Webb, in terms of um, of the amount that we're essentially polluting space? Yeah, um, it's an incredible amount. I smile because it, the amount literally shocked me. So a new report that came out only a couple of uh, months ago estimates that there is 100 trillion individual pieces of space junk in the atmosphere, which to me seems like an unimaginable number. These pieces vary from entire space uh, crafts and satellites that are no longer workable to very, very tiny flecks of uh, paint and metal debris that is orbiting our Earth. Um, it is an incredible and an astounding amount. And the thing that particularly worries me is that this is just the beginning. In the next 10 years, so by 2033, we're expecting at least 60,000 new satellites to be launched. Um, with this comes more launch vehicles, more satellites, and more potential for debris to enter our atmosphere or cloud up our low Earth orbit. So it's something that we take really, really seriously uh, and something that we really want to mitigate for the future. Because as you can imagine, if we're at 100 trillion pieces right now, we don't want to go too far beyond that. And the speed that they're travelling is is pretty impressive as well, isn't it? As we spend more send more people uh, up into space, uh, does that increase the risks for for human flight? I assume if if something collided uh, yeah. with with something that's carrying humans, that could end really badly. Absolutely, yes. So pieces that are in low Earth orbit, so that's only a few hundred kilometres above the Earth, can travel anywhere from seven to nine kilometres per second, incredibly fast. And the thing with physics is that the momentum is what is dangerous. So you can have a very small object travelling very, very fast, and it can impart quite a lot of force thanks to momentum. So this is something that is of great concern when we're sending humans not only to our space station, but we're going to be sending humans back to the moon in multiple different programs programs, not just the Artemis program, having a clear and safe way to exit our Earth's lower atmosphere is incredibly important. And this is why taking space junk and monitoring our skies is something that's really, really important. Because if we don't take care, there is the potential for not only our human life to be at risk, but also our technology that we rely on every single day, our satellites that we rely on to relay us important information could be harmed. Yeah, scary scuff. Dr. Webb, appreciate you taking the time to explain it all for us. Thanks so much. Thank you for having me.